or Time Warner. <laughs> what, do you have like a pigeons bringing you the news or something? <laughs> <laughs> I try not to watch the news. Wow. Birds. Sports news. What do you see in uh, GSU's defense? Uh, really good defense. Athletic, good run, great challenge for us. What kind of challenge? This is like coach speak day. <laughs> I want you to know that. Okay. okay. Can't you say something nasty? No, can't say anything. Bad. <laughs> hey, coach speak. Josh Shaw, sex. anything for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried about what my guys are. are are doing and if they're prepared and you know got two good days of practice and uh, I've got a couple more days to, wrap, to clean some things up and try to, try to get a little bit better this week than we were last week. What kind of challenge does Leonard Williams pose for the offensive line? Uh, yeah he's a really good football player you know he's uh, one, of, one of the best D linemen you know in this uh, and I think in, the, in this conference um, you know so it's a great challenge for our guys for our front. Mm-hmm. What in particular does he do well? I mean He's big, he's fast, he's physical, you know. Um, you know, he plays, he plays with a little bit of anger. So, you know, our kids have got to get a little angry. No, you've coached a lot of spots. You talked about this rivalry. What are you trying to say? <laughs> you've been around. You've been around. around. <laughs> no, hey. You know, it's either, it, you know, you move around a lot of coaches because of one of two things, right? Yeah. Either you're not worth a shit or you're pretty good. Yeah. How, yeah. Many, how many times has it been number two? <laughs> answering that question. <laughs> Need the fifth on that one. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? How was this rivalry compared to other places you've been? Um, yeah, I mean it's one of the you know you think of you know the places I've been. You think of uh, the Iron Bowl um, here. You know it's got that same kind of magnitude of that. Um, you know close to two schools that are in the same town. Uh, you know it's Clemson, South Carolina. It's all those great rivalry matchups are in the country. So it's an exciting week for us. They haven't blitzed a ton this season. Is that a situation where you expect they're going to probably drop guys into coverage like other teams did against Brett? Don't know. Still waiting to figure it out, too. Still waiting to figure that stuff out. I really, I, you know, that's you know, Justin is Justin does a great job. You know, I mean, I've known Justin for a while. He's a really good coordinator. He always comes up with a good plan. So we're going to have to figure it out as we go on. What kind of a, I'm kind of a paint my numbers guy anyway? So I just kind of. <laughs> Roll with Fill it. Fill number one, and then I work on in number twos. Right? When you look at how much Paul has improved from last year to this Paul year. Paul Perkins. Paul Perkins. Yeah. How much can you see Kennedy's fingerprints kind of on his improvement? Yeah, I think that whole group, not just Paul. You know, I think all those kids, every time they're in there, they've done a good job. I think that, uh, you know, he brings a certain amount of, of, of that of toughness to that group. Um, I think you really, I really, I think you've really seen. If you kind of take a snapshot of where we're at right now, offensively, I think what where you really see it start to, to pay some dividends is uh, is how well, how much better our pass protection improves every week. You know, and a lot of that is on on, on the backs and on Brett, and, then, and that's another thing. I think Brett's gotten better at too, and so you know, it's, it's a group protection is a group effort, and I, I really see the backs doing a really good job with that right now. And, and running more physical, north and south type guys. How much of a stamp do you think it would be on Brett's season, or even if his career getting a third straight win over USC? Um, I don't know about Brett, but I think it'd be good for this football team. You know, like every other win is good for any other football team. Um, no, I mean we just, I mean, I mean, in all honesty, you know, we just kind of come out every week and worry about us. You know, we just try to improve every week as a, as a, as a team. Um, you know. And, and, you know, it's about the process of becoming a good football team, and we're still in that process. And we've got a great challenge, you know, with this with this really good football team. We're getting ready to play Saturday, so it's just a, another challenge for us to see how far we've come. As you guys have kind of settled into a rhythm on offense, can you tell how much more comfortable Brett is just in these last few weeks? Or yeah, I mean, but he, you know, the guy's been playing three years. You know, yeah. I mean, he's got you know, he's, he's won a lot of football games <laughs> for us around here. Um, you know, and, and you know, and if you just you know that position is not always an easy position to play, and you know you kind of vacillate at times. And, and I think you know he's grown in he's grown in some areas from the first part of this year, uh, or from four weeks ago to this point now. And I think it's always as a quarterback. I think it's a, a process. Those cats that have been 
Peyton's and the Thomas have been playing, you know, 16 years. Mm -hmm. Every year, I'm sure that they improve on things. Mm -hmm. The improved pass protection, what has that done to your game planning and, and uh, play calling? Uh, let's me call more passes. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, looking down yeah. the field more. Yeah. You know, it gives, and it gives Brett a chance to, you know, move on to some progressions, move off to number one and two guys sometimes, and it gives us a chance to maybe extend the ball down the field. Mm -hmm. Cool. Guys